What's going on people, it's the randomness of TRB. How you doing? I'm back at work and back to making a couple videos for you. Look. <clears throat> the reason why men cheat, it ain't because we don't love you, it ain't because we don't care about you. We can absolutely care about you and still cheat on you. <laughs> it is eight times out of 10, nothing personal, all right? It is nothing personal. Over here waiting to get the truck washed. Gotta be clean when I'm making this money, right? So uh, it is nothing personal. Reason why men cheat is because we like new things. We like, we like new experiences and new feelings. And we like to, uh, it's kind of like sh women in shoes, right? You got your shoes that's comfortable you got your shoes that's fancy, and you got your shoes that's classy. You got your shoe, but you want to put your foot in that Louis Vuitton or that Jimmy Choo, right? That's how we are with our privates. We want to put our privates into that uh, latest Jimmy Choo. <laughs> it is nothing personal. <clears throat> uh, a lot of times people say, which is true, men are physical, women are emotional. Uh, I don't know for the women's side, but for the men's side, it's absolutely physical. Um, we don't cheat on you because we don't like you, we don't love you, and don't care about you. Because sex to us is an act. Sex to us is kind of like how you go to a fancy restaurant and eat a delicious meal. You still love home-cooked meals. It's just that this delicious meal that has been enticing you for a long time, you got to partake in. And now that you have partaken in it, you're ready to go back home. You know, it's kind of like... Cheat, I always say cheating is like having home cooked food and fast food, right? Home cooked food is home cooked food is good for you. It's healthy, it's nutritious, it's made with love and care. Fast food is kind of like something you just get quick, easy. It does what it's supposed to do. It ain't always as healthy for you. It ain't always as good as you expect it to be, but it's just something for right now. So the reason why men cheat it is not because you're not doing something right or you're not doing something wrong. It actually has, most of the time, it has nothing to do with you. It's just that we like new things. We like new things and I cannot lie. And them other brothers can't deny when that thick girl walk in with the, never mind, never mind. But, so is it, does it hurt? Absolutely. Men and women, if you get cheated on because you put your trust and loyalty in somebody and they choose to share their self with somebody else, it absolutely hurts. <coughs> it absolutely hurts. Now, there's a thing, and I, if it happened to me, I'm sure it happened to other men. There's a, a moment in a man's life when he realized he's ready to settle down, okay? There's a moment in the man's life where he's ready to settle down. And usually what, what I did is I went back into my Rolodex of women and I had to figure out, well, and here's the way that I chose it. A lot of times uh, my relationships based, was based off looks and it was based off sex, right? But as I got older, I realized you can be a seven, but you, you, you know how you be around some people that's, absolutely unattractive physically but yet you be around them long enough they become kind of cute to you men and women it happens to both of us well as i got older and i realized like the last relationship i was in before the the one i've been in now for the last 10 years they all been based off sex she gotta be she gotta look like this and, and she you know and and she gotta be able to do this and she gotta be able to do that but what i realized is that Yes, looks matter because you want to be attracted to somebody you're going to spend the rest of your life with. But the Achilles heels is sex. So I went through my Rolodex of women and I said, okay, which one of these women, if I was told right now that they was going to have to sew her box up and her mouth and her hands and her back door and her legs, because I hump any part of the body, it don't matter to me. You, you, you put your hand right there. It could definitely, your wrist, I will tear some wrist up. Your your elbow part right here, hey, make a muscle. Make a muscle. You know, but um, if I can have sex with a, any woman that I've met, and I've met a lot of women in my lifetime, and i dealt with a lot of women in my lifetime, 
who would I will be okay with for the rest of my life? If it was like, because as you get older, you realize there's other qualities besides a fat ass and you know, some good box. You realize that there needs to be personality, uh, compatibility. Uh, there needs to be a sense of humor. There needs to be a, there needs to be a, a, a mutual understanding. And then you gotta have somebody that can deal with your type of personality. All right, like my type of personality, I'm a Pisces. Huh? So, uh, you know, I've been watching a couple of these videos, which I'm gonna download this one chick video and uh, we gonna discuss what she said. I'm gonna do commentary on your video. It's not Key Pisces, shout out to Key Pisces. I might upload what she said for all the rest of the Pisces that's, uh, that do watch this channel. Uh, and I'm not a big horoscope religious type person, but you know, sometimes it's good to have words of motivation. You can excuse me, I'm pulling into the, to the wash bay to get the whip wash, the money maker wiped down. All right. <clears throat> But there's person there's there's personality traits and different things that goes on with another human being that if you was to spend the rest of your life with. Oh, hang on. Say what now? All right. All right. Um, that you that you need in your life. So. You can't force a man to settle down. Uh, a lot of times women will guilt us into set, settling down. They done had the kids and we feel like that's the right thing to do. They've been with us for a certain amount of time, so it's the right thing to do. But until a man is actually ready to settle down, you can't make him settle down, ladies. You can do all you can, all you want, put the bug out there and do different tricks. Girl, this is what I did to get him to settle down. And if you have to do that, Listen to me now. If you have to do that, if you have to go to the women's council of how to lock down a man, then you already got problems in relationship because he is not ready. If a man is not ready, he is going to continue. He's going to cheat on you. Plain and simple. There's something that comes over us. There's this this sense of, all right, I'm done. I'm done. That's what I did. That's what I did. All right, I'm done. I I, I was down in Atlanta. I was like, you know, I don't. I done been with and ran through and played with and enjoyed a variety of women, but I'm done. I want the one to settle down. I'm getting a little bit older. So I need to find the one that I want to grow with that if I was to die, I can leave my whatever I'm, I'm making with. You get it? Like where I can leave my money, my house, my cars, the, the my earthly possessions. My earthly possessions. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> too. And and that for a lot of men can come at an older age all right for women it might be younger because y'all mature faster than us but for some of us, some of us men it's kind of like if we do it young we're going to regret it and that's why i say nobody no man or woman should get married before their early the middle 30s that's just how i feel you got so much life to do go out there and be a hoe go out there and be a thot go out there and be ratchet i'm talking to men and women hey man you can be thoughts too you can be hoes too you can be ratchet in the mud too go out there and enjoy the club enjoy the strip club spend the money blow the money be responsible be irresponsible but then there's going to become a time where you realize like i don't want that brand new you know maybach i don't need it you know what i'm saying let me run down here to the auction get me a nice little tahoe pay it off cash boom once you start thinking like that when you start learn you start understanding i need my money to to work for me i need my life to work for me that's what most men like all right it's time for me to settle down but until then if you force a man to settle down because of whatever it is not gonna work ladies it is not gonna work and i'm here to tell you because i'm i'm <laughs> i am a player it is not gonna work or i was a player let me refer let me rephrase that i was a player but it's not gonna work so Enjoy the the person that you're with for the moment. And that's what you need to understand. Do not have expectations of anybody because nobody owes either gender anything. Either gender, sexual orientation, nobody owes anyone anything. All right? So if you find somebody that you enjoy and that you like, enjoy them and like them. And when they're gone, they're gone. And when they come back, enjoy them then. Don't keep continuing to want to fill your veins and your heart and your soul with this particular person until that particular person is ready to give you that 
Because if you do, you're gonna get let down. If you got expectations like this is the man I wanna settle down with, and he's not ready to settle down, you're gonna get let down. And then you're gonna be out here like some of these other bitter women, I don't need a man, I'm an independent woman. Beyonce, Beyonce. Now understanding that Beyonce got her man, a husband, and all her kids is by the same man. <laughs> that she's married to. That was in the mental mind frame, financial position, and, em and emotional uh, place to say, this is, this is what we're ready to do. He didn't for I'm pretty sure she couldn't force Jay-Z to settle down and Jay-Z couldn't force her to settle down. Why? Because they were doing their own thing. All right? All right? So why do men cheat? Because we like variety. Everybody likes variety. But when it comes that time to where we get tired of having fast food and we want that steak and potato, you know what I'm saying? That nice, good glass of Kool-Aid then hey if you're there you just might get it and that goes both ways because some women uh, I don't know how I, don't, I can't speak for women because I'm a man and this is just what happened to me I was enjoying a variety a bevy of fast foods <laughs> did I ever catch an S did I ever catch a STD from the fast food one time I did if y'all would like me to tell y'all the story I'd be more than happy to tell y'all the story it was a horrible story shout out to Grady but um horrible story uh but other than that you know i didn't i didn't get the i didn't get that combo meal which is you know i got lucky with that because a lot of us men do play russian roulette because we be too busy in the moment moment and not understanding what it is so uh when you when you when you uh try to open up that pandora box <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get look this is the randomness of trb how you doing have you subscribed to my channel yet huh listen i don't ask y'all for nothing right but if you would like, please subscribe, like, share. And the only thing I really ask you for is to pay attention. And I thank you for your contributions. Anything y'all want me to talk about when it comes to uh, dapper looking individuals. Yeah, I'm feeling real fresh right now. I got the, uh. Hey, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Because I got the feeling it's going to eventually come up. Every week or two weeks or whenever I go home, I buy t-shirts, right? So if you see me, that's that's two reds. I even got a purple one for whatever reason. Two reds, three blacks, right? So if you want to talk about my t-shirt game, it's absolutely fine. But I'm just letting you know I do have a variety of, uh, I don't have a variety. It's just particular colors I like. Gray, black, red, blue. I try to switch it up with a purple. I'm going to try that every now and then. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> hey, as always, I thank you for stopping by. All right? Y'all be easy now.